Join us today as we take on our first rap project at our new shop. We transform a raptor into a sleek, sad, and dark gray. Sean goes shopping for some ultra yeah, rare so tools. Nice. But before we go there, let's check in on the guys and see what they're up to. What's up? What's up? You know, do a little bit of mechanic work on my body shop career, you know? <laughs> and this is our first mechanical job I'm filming at the new shop. Just don't look behind you. It's just a big mess. Just blur out all the mess. Uh, just leave me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we have BC racing, custom coilovers going on, the Acura, and we're also putting on new wheels. Those new Boston's right there, baby. Boston's HF5, 20 by nine, 20 by 10 and a half in satin silver. Boston lugs to match as well as new tires, of course. So we're gonna be dropping the car, getting rid of some of that wheel gap, going as low as possible without rubbing. A new set of wheels is the quickest way to change up the look of a car, and if you lower it, it's just the cherry on top. Boston HF5 satin silver 20x9, 20x10.5, matching silver lugs and locks. The coilovers leave us a finger gap all around, which is what our client wanted, and the best part? No rubbing whatsoever. Oh, and these wheels were also custom made with coilovers in mind, so that's why they sit so much closer to the fenders for a more flush concave fitment. I'd imagine regular TLX fitment would be a lot less aggressive and probably not as concave too, since they obviously don't come lower from factory. So keep that in mind if you're looking to replicate the same setup. You'll have to lower your car. Super clean, classy, perfect daily driver. Is Sean here? Yeah. What are you buying now? I don't know, I'm thinking about buying this hammer. So this is like a playground for you, huh? Hell yeah. I don't have any TQs, do you? I don't even know what that is. There are so many tools everywhere. This one's on sale for 339. Alright, man. Alright, thank you. Good. Yo, this is a this is a foam set. That's why it's so that's why it's so nice. It's oh a foam no. Set. Oh no, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just made that purchase. Yo, this is so nice. Wait. I mean it's cool. Oh, so it's cool is printed. Another thing too is <laughs> this. Another thing too is this is um these are limited edition too. So like no <laughs> 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 Dude, they don't make Okay, hold on, hold on. Snap on doesn't make this foam all the time. Right down there, guys, is our next wrap project. Brand new Ford Raptor Gen 3. We've done a few Raptors in the past, but this is our first time doing the Gen 3. We're going with a pretty clean color. We're going with satin dark gray. White is a hard color to cover everywhere. So the key for us definitely with this, make sure we cover as much of the white as possible to make it seem like it came this way from factory. So Sean, give me your input on this. How are you feeling about this wrap project that we're about to do, that we're about to embark on? I hate all the orphans in the world. What? Sick. Is that the wrap color right there? Satin dark gray. Can't really go wrong with it. So I'm expecting success, of course, like usual. First things first, you gotta take things off. And that's what we're in the process of doing right now. So when I said earlier that white is a challenge and we need to cover all the white, I actually, what are you gonna walk in my frame? I actually meant it. We moved the bed back just a little bit just so we have space to work around this area and this area too, just to hide as much of the white as possible.
since we've moved, this is officially our first wrap project from start to finish at our new facility. More space and more lighting have really let us take our wraps to an even higher level than ever before, and hopefully you can see it too in this raptor. Sad and Dark Gray is the name of the wrap in case you want the same one, and it's a nice color. Almost looks like it could have been a factory option because it's so subtle, but the satin sheen really sets it off. My favorite part is how the color accents the hood lines. It's super aggressive looking, and I, I really like that. And you can see why we're so adamant about taking everything off. There's no white to be seen anywhere. We even plasti dipped the wheel inner liners and behind the bumper black just to hide any visible white. It looks so much clearer this way, and it's not something most people do, but if you don't do it, it ruins the entire look. But you don't really understand how clean this turned out if I don't show you the edges, so here's a bunch of close ups showcasing that. Little details like these add up and truly affect the overall look of the wrap once it's all said and done. Hopefully you like that wrap project, we are actually starting on another wrap project, so stay tuned for this one. If you want to wrap your car, hit us up, our contact info is in the description down below. We will see you next time. Russell? Yes? What you think of that Raptor we did? It was wrap and fish. If you want your car wrapped, know who to call. 888-878-2213. Call for Tyrone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you like balls in your mouth? I mean mine. <laughs> Ha ha ha!